action. Hi Dara. My Hello. name is my name is Art Schumacher from the Rain Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, Would you mind showing your name tag, please? Of course, this is Thank my name you. tag. Thank you. Have a good look, especially at the organization. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, well, I'm here at the Stockholm Water Week now for the fifth time in a row with my organization. Um, since three years we're bringing a new topic to the conference and not only to the conference, we try to put a new topic in the integrated water resource management world. And what is that new topic? And that topic is called 3R. 3R, I've seen various 3Rs, but our 3R is water recharge, retention and reuse. And it's mainly focused at water buffer management, mm -hmm. how to store water in the soil and use it at adequate time. As, you, as we all know with climate change, uh, water availability is even more unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like in a bank, you want your water stored somewhere and when you need it, you can take it out. And so you are using rainwater amongst as a other, Amongst others, it's rainwater, it's also surface water. It's all water that is not used and is lost. In fact, there's a lot of water lost by evaporation or just run off into the sea and it's gone, mm -hmm. uh, especially if, if you talk about Sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. where it still rains like some places 300 to 400 millimeters a year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but there is half of it, or so three quarters of it is lost, and you can try to capture that, and then you can, yeah, mm -hmm. on a large scale, you can, uh, yeah, say increase the water buffer, and, mm -hmm. which is very highly needed, of course. Mm -hmm. And how will this um, be something that influences urban water? Um, well, you can use it for urban, peri-urban, rural. It's just a concept that is uh, aiming at how to increase the buffer uh, capacity. And it's not something we can do on our own. Of course, you need alliances, you need governments, you need everyone to be involved. But there is a consortium of four organizations, and that is starting this up, sort of initiating the, the initiative. That has started three years ago. Uh, we had a seminar on, Mon on Sunday. Um, Do you have any more events coming up this week? Uh, not of no, this consortium, not specifically, but we are here all week uh, trying to promote the concept and try to get more members into the family. It's something very open. We want others to, to, to join. Mm -hmm. We've had discussions directly with various minister ministries mm -hmm. uh, this week. They are very positive already for a while on it, but it seems that now the next steps are going to be taken to formulate a large-scale regional program uh, where we can, we can really put it into practice yeah, and give it much more visibility. Great. Yeah, so Thank like, you so much for talking about I would still that. like to mention the, yes. the organizations involved, yeah. which is uh, BGR from Germany, mm -hmm. uh, it's Agua for All from the Netherlands, it's uh, Acacia Water from the Netherlands, and it's Rain Foundation. Uh, also from the Netherlands. From there is a, Initially, it was a Dutch initiative. We are now uh, yeah, getting in more organizations. I forgot to mention Meta Meta, also an organization with a lot of yeah, knowledge in groundwater management. Mm -hmm. um, but you can already see the family growing. So I well, hope great. my main message is let the family grow, let others come in, let governments come in, let the larger international agencies come in, and so we can really do something that uh, is an additional support for uh, the high water stress in this world. Great, thank you for telling us about that. Thank you for your time and uh, have a good rest of your water week here. Thank you very much. Okay.